J7 billiards shooting pool. And this will be also a section on collisions in two dimensions. So we're going to look at a ball, pool ball, the cue ball, moving to hit another ball. And here the hit's going to take place a little bit off center, which is going to cause one ball to go down and the other ball to go up. So we're going to hit this near the top, say a little bit, sending the 12 ball down and the cue ball is going to go up. It's a two-dimensional problem, and we like to see what we can get out of this problem in terms of the physics of pool. So let's go ahead and draw the two balls here. And this one's traveling at U, mass M, mass M. This is the 12 ball. And this one's at rest. So this is before. And then after the collision, and let's go ahead and put down X and Y axis here. So X and Y. One ball is going to head up like this. The cue ball is hitting toward the top, so it'll be the cue ball going up at some angle theta, and then here, going down in this direction will be the 12 ball. And let's call this W. I don't like subscript, so I'm gonna use U, the velocity before this cue ball's traveling at speed U. Then afterwards, the cue ball will be at V, and the 12 ball will be heading down, and we'll call this angle here phi, all right? So the conservation of momentum says mu is equal to mv, this would be in the x direction, mv, this is cosine of theta, plus mw, cosine of phi. And then for the y, there's no momentum in the y direction, so that's zero. And over here, we have m v sine of theta going up, and then minus m w sine of phi going down. And the collision is going to be taken to be elastic. It's a good approximation, an elastic collision. So conservation of energy can be written down. One half m u squared is one half m v squared plus one half m w squared. So we have three equations. Now we can get these three equations a little bit cleaned up by watching the M's go out, go out everywhere actually. So the first equation is simply U is V cosine of theta plus W cosine of phi. And then here I'm gonna write V sine of theta equal to W sine of phi. The M's go out, and then I could bring one of these on the other side of the equation. So we have that equality. Here, the one halves and the M goes out. So U squared is V squared plus W squared. Now this third equation suggests a Pythagorean theorem type of situation. Could it be that the sum of these angles is 90 degrees? We're gonna show that in a second. But let's look at what we have here. 
we basically would give you, you would give M and U, but the M doesn't really matter when the masses are, are the same, it's gonna drop out. So if we're giving U, we wanna know stuff that happens afterwards. Well, afterwards, you have V, W, theta, and phi. Well, that's four unknowns and there's three equations. So that's, that's not gonna be possible to, to solve unless you're given some more information. Like if you're given like one of the angles or if you're given say V or something. But I wanna show you that the sum of the angles theta plus phi indeed is 90 degrees as suggested by this equation. Now here's how you can see this, and that is using the vector form of the momentum, we have m u vector, this is before, and afterwards m v vector plus m w vector, so that means the u vector, that would be the velocity, incoming velocity, is equal to the sum of the outgoing velocity vectors. Now watch this trick. If I go u dot u, that's gonna give me u squared. Remember the dot product. If you have the dot product of a vector a with another vector b, and say there's some alpha angle between them. It's A, the magnitude A, times the magnitude B, times the cosine of the angle. Now, if it's the same vector, then B is A, and the angle is zero degrees. So you would get simply A squared in this case. So here I have U squared. And then the right-hand side, if I do the dot product with the sum, like this, I would have V dot V plus V dot W plus W dot V plus W dot W. Now, the dot product doesn't matter which order you do it in, A dot B or B dot A, it doesn't matter because A and B can be multiplied in any order and you have a cosine angle between them. So this is equal to V dot V plus two V dot W plus W dot W. This is V squared and this is W squared and U squared is equal to these three, but I already know that u squared is equal to v squared and w squared, which means this term is zero. And if the dot product is zero, remember the dot product says take the v magnitude, the other magnitude, and you want the cosine of the angle alpha, say, between them. And if that's equal to zero, then they're perpendicular. You basically have, to get the zero, you have the 90 degree angle. And the 90 degree angle here, alpha is also the angle between V and W. So between V and W, this angle here is alpha, which is the sum of the two angles, which means that indeed this is a right, right, it's a right angle. So I wanted to show you here a couple of cases. For example, if I have the u vector as, as a given, then the u vector is going to be this vector in each case. But suppose I hit the other ball a little bit, uh, you know, higher up or lower. You can wind. You can you can see a couple of cases here. Here's one case where it's a right angle, and this is 
this would be your, your, your W, the one going down. This is your V. And here, uh, the W going down, this would actually be phi. And then here, if I do a, something like this, then this angle here would be the theta angle. But I could also have something that goes a little bit, let's say, longer, a bigger distance there. And this is another case, still right angle, but see, this would be a, a, a different length than the other one. And in all cases, you're going to have the 90 degree angle. So here is in the book showing the you know, two, two cases. So your U vector going to the right and then showing here the right triangle. Remember that U squared is the W squared plus the V squared, which is a Pythagorean theorem rule. And depending on where the cue ball hits the other ball, these vectors will have different lengths, but they'll still be in the relationship of forming a right triangle with this being true. So that's a nice uh, principle of pool. And I'm going to show you in the video a couple of excerpts uh, from other YouTube videos where you can look at pool shots and you can see for yourself if, judge for yourself, if the two balls that are going after being hit off center is roughly 90 degrees. 亚洲四年运动会跟世界运动会就在去年的同时有球哇潘小婷目前是一比五九号球好我们来讲不能做太迟还有九号球的问题危险危险呐